Hey guys, it's Jasmine and this is um, a new video I'm recording for you guys, of course, because I'm here. And, um, yeah. The makeup in this video is the makeup that I'm just trying out that I may be recording for, like, a fun springtime makeup look. So, yeah. But anyways, this is, like, my most requested video ever. Ever, ever since I told you guys that I was going natural and even before then you guys always want hair videos probably because that's what my channel was before I started doing a lot of makeup tutorials. So this is like one of the most requested videos and you guys always ask do a hair update and are you still going natural and the answer to that question is yes I'm still going natural um I'm just a straight natural I wear my hair straight majority of the time majority of the time all the time basically um so yeah I just straighten my hair once a week most times but anyways you guys ask if I am still going natural how do I keep my hair straight and all this stuff but as you can see my hair is not so straight like my roots they get a little you know especially it's getting high hotter here in Atlanta so yeah my roots they get a little kinky I guess not really kinky because my hair isn't really kinky in the first place but they get a little puffy there you go um so you guys asked how do I keep my hair straight and just do a hair update so the last time I got a relaxer like on my whole entire head was um in the beginning of 2013 so it's been about a year now since I had a relaxer but here's the part that I messed up on when I had started doing weaves a lot I like relaxed some of my hair just a little bit like the part that was left out and around my edges which that was a while back and I haven't got a, rela a relaxer since then. But it was just like this much of my hair. And then around my edges a little bit. Because I just couldn't deal with it getting puffy. While my um, while my weave was straight. It just, I don't fly like that. So, yeah. I don't remember where it was really. But just know that part is a little bit behind the rest of my hair. Um, I may add pictures to this video. I don't know if I still have them on my phone, but sometimes I take pictures of my curliness in my hair once I wash it. So I'm just basically going to give you, this video may be kind of long because I'm going to show you all the products I use um, as a straight natural to keep my hair straight or semi-straight um, and what I do to my hair. So I just cut my hair a little bit shorter actually. I cut my own hair in whatever style that I choose to. Like, just recently, um, over the weekend, I cut my hair a little shorter. Sometimes you just have to do it. Cut your hair even if you don't want to. Sometimes it just really needs to be cut. So I cut my hair and also cut some layers in there. Or whatever. So it is a little bit shorter than it has been. Um, I kind of think I cut too much, but it's okay. It's gonna grow back, guys. Um, so yeah. I wash my hair for the most part once a week. And that's usually on either... Sunday or Monday I wash my hair and then I normally deep condition yes I deep condition every time well not every time probably like twice a month I deep condition my hair but I wash it I shampoo it once a week and then I flat iron it once a week when I sh wash my hair and then I flat iron it I do not put any more heat on my hair until I shampoo it and um flat iron it again so the products that I use to shampoo my hair and I have like the little bottles of stuff because I um, go to my per, the professional beauty supply store that you have to have a license or student card for to go to and I always get the smaller the small little bottles because I like to try stuff even though I've already tried pretty much all the pomatra products that I have I just get the small bottles just in case I want to change up. And pretty much all the products that I'm about to show you, I use on my clients' hair if they are getting a blow-dry smooth iron, which is shampoo and style, basically. So what I use to shampoo my hair is the, um, I use different shampoos, like two or three different shampoos every time I shampoo my hair. I shampoo my hair about three times with three different shampoos each time I wash my hair. So um, the first shampoo I use is the... Paul Mitchell um, shampoo 2 which is a clarifying shampoo but this is more on the 
soft side of clarifying is not a harsh clarifying shampoo a harsh clarifying shampoo in the Paul Mitchell system would be shampoos three and five or something like when you can mix them together but I use shampoo too and I also have shampoo one which is just a original shampoo which is basically like clarifying and it just does everything basically but I use shampoo too when I first this is the first shampoo I use when I'm shampooing my hair and this is the 10.14 fluid ounce bottle and I use this first and this just gets up all the buildup that I may have on my hair because if you have buildup on your hair it can make your hair look dull and take away from the shine so that's why I always use this shampoo clarifying shampoo and it's not a harsh one so you cannot use like a harsh shampoo a clarifying shampoo in your hair every time you wash your hair if you wash it like I do once a week you can't because it's just going to strip all your natural moistures out but this one is a very light clarifying shampoo so yeah if you have buildup on your hair then it's not going to be like as shiny as it can be so i always use a clarifying shampoo first and then i use these two shampoos which are both from palm mitchell and these are the small bottles that i was telling you that i was telling you guys about and this is the palm mitchell original um owl Pui shampoo and they also have the Alpui Wild Ginger Shampoo, which is a much better shampoo than this one, but it's way more expensive, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's a moisturizing shampoo, and the Alpui Wild Ginger Shampoo comes in a black bottle. But anyways, this is the Palmitchell. This is like the original Palmitchell products that ever came out, but this is the Alpui, and it's the Super Rich Lather Shampoo. So this is just a moisturizing shampoo, and it has a great lather, so I use this. And the next shampoo I use is the um, Palm Mitchell Tea Tree Lavender Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. And I pretty much use only moisturizing shampoos when I shampoo my hair because most of my conditioners are for like protein and keratin and stuff. So I put in the moisture with the shampoo and also with oil. Um, oils that I use and then like for keratin and stuff like that I use conditioners and also some of the sprays that I put on my hair but yeah this is a great moisturizing shampoo so I use this and then on to the conditioners um, I use the generic body product which you can get at Sally's but this is just the offspring of the Palm Mitchell's um, detangler which is a great, like the Palm Mitchell Detangler is a great conditioner. It's not just to detangle your hair. It just helps detangle your hair um, because it's so creamy and it gives you a lot of slip in your hair. But I use this as a conditioner and this is a very great conditioner. Yeah, it shines your hair and it also brings the pH down. Um, it has the same pH as your hair should have, which is around 4.5 or 5. And I use this, which you can get this at Sally's for like um, $6.79. So I use this, which is a great product. And then another conditioner that I use, which I just left in the bathroom. But this is the Joyco K-Pack um, Revita Luxe like treatment. And this is like for keratin, like when you need protein in your hair. And it's a restorative treatment. So that's that. And sometimes I cocktail these conditioners together. I don't always use them all together at once. And then when I need like some strengthening to my hair, if I feel like I need a more... I guess strengthening treatment I use this generic body product and this is the strengthening treatment and it's compared to the Palm Mitchell super strong treatment and it says rebuilds and restores and usually people use this on their hair well in the Palm Mitchell system we use this super strong treatment after we've like either relaxed someone's hair or um lightened it with um lightener and took it to a very high level and it just helps rebuild hair but i use this sometimes on my hair and also clients hair 
and the last conditioner that I'm going to show you is the Elastic QP and this is the Soy Oil Protein and Vitamins Ultra Hydration Anti-Breakage Moisture Rich Deep Conditioner. And it just looks like that and this is a great deep conditioner. It's very creamy and thick as you can see it rarely it doesn't really move too much. It's a very thick consistency and I absolutely love it. It's like a hair mayonnaise kind of but this is what I use to deep condition with and I leave this on for about 15 to 30 minutes with a, a plastic cap or sometimes I will leave it on for an hour. It just depends on how I'm feeling and what I have to do while I'm before I'm doing my hair like it just depends on if I'm staying home for the rest of the day when I decide to do my hair but this I love this stuff. So now I'm going to get to the products after I'm finished. Um, after I'm filling, I'm just throwing the products that I already mentioned on the floor. Okay, so after I'm um, done shampooing and conditioning my hair, I start with putting in products for my hair and all the products that I'm about to show you, I use them on my hair and at once and it may seem like a lot but it's what works for my hair and you can see it doesn't weigh my hair, hair down. My hair is still flowy and shiny as you can see. It doesn't weigh my hair down whatsoever but it may for you but like I said I use this on pretty much all of my clients that I do and it doesn't weigh, th weigh their hair down either. It's a very, these products are very good quality products and lightweight so that helps if you're using like cheaper products then it probably will weigh your hair down because of the type of oils that they use in their products but once you have a good quality product it's more than likely not going to weigh your hair down so the first thing that i will put in my hair is this it's a 10 miracle leave-in product And this is the four fluid ounces bottle and this is it's a 10 is a pretty much says it's a miracle it's called a miracle leave-in conditioner and all the things that it claims to do is does 10 things instantly one repairs dry damaged hair two at shine three detangles four controls for its five seals and protects hair color six prevents split and seven stops hair breakage eight creates silkiness nine enhances natural body and ten a flat iron spray and thermal protector so i've been using this for hmm, i'm not really sure how long i've been using this for but i like this stuff actually like i really do love this stuff i think i have seen a difference when i first started using this um i noticed a big difference in the way that my hair turned out after i flat ironed it and I really love it like I use so many products so I don't know actually which one but I feel like if I leave one out then my hair is not the same so I use all of them all the time so this is that and as you can see this is like a thick consistency I don't know if you can see in the bottle but it doesn't really move too much well you can hear it, it moves but it's a thicker consistency and you just spray it out I can spray some on my hand this is what it looks like, how it comes out in the spray form. And it's just like, it's like watery. So it melts up really quick. And it's not like sticky or anything. It's very watery consistency. Let's see what the first ingredient. The first ingredient is water. When you are trying to get good products, hopefully the first product is water and definitely not alcohol. So yeah that's that and then the next thing I put on my hair is this um, Paul Mitchell's Alpui Moisture Mist and this is great for your skin as well not just for your hair like you can use this as a makeup setting spray or before you put on your makeup this is just a very hydrating spray and like for you girls that tan if you spray this on you before you go tanning or when you're laying out at the beach this is very great for you and also this spray that I'm going to show you I'll sh mention that in a minute but um this is just a moisture spray and it says that um give thirsty hair and skin the moisture they crave helps you feel refreshed all day long and it says spray generously on hair and skin if you want so yeah this is just um extra moisturizing product to help 
just quench the thirst of your hair because once your hair is dry it will break and that is what stops people from seeing length in their hair even though your hair grows a half an inch every month like regardless it's going to grow at least a half an inch a month but people don't see that length because their hair breaks before it can get to the length so your hair is just splitting up and then it just breaks so you don't really see the length And then the next thing I put on my hair when I'm about to, um, when it's still wet, this is like when my hair is still wet, all of this stuff, is the Paul Mitchell Soft Style Heat Seal. And this is just a thermal protectant spray and it helps with humidity and I really find this to work really well. Like humidity, like when you're out, it helps my hair not swell up so much, like when you're out in the hot or humid stuff times it just helps my hair not swell up so much and this is um it says turn up the heat this humidity resistant spray helps prevent damage from blow dryers and irons increases body and enhances shine direction spray a small amount onto clean damp hair style as desired heat required to activate so yeah, this is like one of my holy grail products i love this heat seal it's my friend so then after I put all of that in my hair, I still have more stuff to put in there while this is still wet. Um, and the next thing is I cocktail these two products together and I just spread it over my hair. And this is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. And it says smooths and controls. And the stuff is like rubbed off of here so I can't really read it to you. But basically it's just relaxing your hair and making it not relaxing like a chemical relaxer but it's just relaxing it so that your hair is able to get straighter than it normally would it just smooths your hair down and controls the frizz so i love this product and again this is the super skinny relaxing balm and also i have the palm mitchell super skinny um serum which is just like it's this serum in a leave-in conditioner form. Really, this is supposed meant to be a leave-in conditioner, but it's a serum. But I only use this sometimes, and I don't use it all the time. And then the next thing is the Owl Pui. This is the Owl Pui line that I was telling you about that comes in a black bottle, but they have shampoo, conditioners, care and rinse. This is just a great product line. But this is the Paul Mitchell Owl Pui Wild Ginger Styling Treatment Oil. And this stuff is amazing. This is like compared to the Moroccan oil, um, Moroccan oil serum and stuff like that. The um, orange tinted stuff. But this one is clear and it's the Owl Pui Oil. And this is like great. It says smooth and seal parched hair with natural oils and hydrating Owl Pui extract. This dry touch absorbs easily into the hair and imparting a soft silky texture and rich shine. Directions. Apply a small amount to clean damp hair and style as usual or smooth on dry hair to tame and add shine. So yeah, love, love, love this. And I can show you how silky this is. That's it. It's very light formula. Like when I was at Palm Mitchell and you, it's so silky. I love this stuff. When I used to go to school at Palm Mitchell, um, when I would be doing hair, you know, you're shampooing hair so much. You're just shampooing, shampooing. I would seriously just go get this once my hands got dry. Scroll like a pump on my hand and rub it into my hand as like a lotion if I didn't have access to lotion at the time. Love this stuff. Okay, wait, pause. After I blow dried my hair first and then went in... After I blow dry my hair, I spray a little bit of this Owl Pui Wild Ginger Shine Spray. And this is just like an oil sheen, but way better than any oil sheen that you would ever buy from a beauty supply store. I mean, drugstore, beauty supply store, whatever. Bomb diggity. This is also the stuff that I was telling you that you can spray on your skin. Like once you're tanning or laying out of the, on the beach and you want to have that like shiny, glowy look. Yes, love this. I'm going to show you on my hand here. You see, it's just like normal. And you spray that and it's just scorch. And this stuff is very lightweight. You can see it's like shiny now. But I love this stuff and it's like this is a holy girl product. Like seriously, holy girl. So I spray this on my hair a little bit and then I flat iron my hair just once. Just bone straight. I have a video on how I flat iron my hair. Um, and you guys can see that or I'll link them down below. <clears throat> so I flat iron it bone straight. I still do the exact same thing. So I will link those videos down below so you guys can see. 
So I flat iron it bone straight and then I add a little more of this oil spray, a little more shine spray. And then I spray this, which is another Holy Girl product. And this is the Paul Mitchell Soft Style Super Clean Light Finishing Spray. And this stuff is bomb diggity. Like seriously, love this. So once I spray this on my hair, I brush everything through my hair. And then I go back and then I curl my hair. And then I curl my hair. And you, I'm going to show you guys in my other video. So I'm just going to link that down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I go around and I curl my whole hair with the flat iron. And then after I finish curling my hair, I add some of this coconut oil, which coconut oil is a holy grail product of mine. This is like the best oil that you can ever use for your hair, whether you have fine hair, thin hair, dry hair, thick hair, curly hair. Whatever kind of hair you have, coconut oil will be the best answer for you. This is like the only oil that is known to actually penetrate your hair shaft. This is a great oil. So I just put in a little bit in my hands, rub it in, and then I just run it through the curls, run it through the curls. And then I wrap my hair with my, just a regular wrapping motion, like, and then I put my, um, a little more of the coconut oil in my hand after it's wrapped, rub it in, and then I run it around the hair wrap. And then I put my scarf, my scarf on, and then that's it. So that's basically all I do to my hair. You guys asked for a hair update. So this is it. I hope this got was helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, just leave it down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all for my hair routine and regimen. Like I said, I, I am still going natural. It's been about a year or more before after a year or more since I've had a relaxer in my hair other than my little section up here. Which was still a little while ago. So yeah that's the only section. And yeah. So still going natural. Still going strong. Hopefully I make it through this journey. And if you guys have any more questions or comments. Just leave them down below. And I'll try my best to respond to most of you guys. And I hope this was helpful. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Leave your video request down below. Bye.